Hi, my name's Rhys from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today, gonna have a look at Carlton for the bass guitar, show you how to play it. Fair bit in this one, it is a Skyhook song after all. Um, intro, verses, interludes, solos, all kinds of things that we've got to have a look at and learn. So stick with it and you'll get it together. The intro. We've got this rhythm being established. Quaver based kick drum following uh, is the best way to describe it without trying to get too technical and too detailed. Um, we're playing over an E, which you'll find at the seventh fret of your third string, and you jump straight up, and then some passing notes into the B. Same kind of action going on, uh, then back to a D. go on there that walks into an A. So E to B, D to a three, and then into the A. A good idea might be to grab the tab sheet off me. You can get it at my Patreon page. That's for Reese Let on Patreon, R-H-Y-S-L-E-T-T. -T. A lot of frets involved with this one, especially if you're not as familiar with the fretboard and their note placements. But that rhythm, one and two and three and. So a lot of these syncopated beats, syncopation off the beat. If I break it down into eight quavers to a bar, that might make it easier as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six is what we'd get. It's, this first groove, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a fill that takes you to one and two. To give you an idea there, pause this video now, work through that intro. The little start there, seven, nine, seven, is on your top fourth string. E, pass, B. Chromatic passing, we'll talk of that through the soul the song here. And then getting to the A. And it does that chromatic idea again, these chromatics. Four, five, six into the seven on string two, and four, five, six into the seven on string three. Yeah, A string. That's it. Intro, pause the video. We'll still have this rhythm element coming through the song as well, but a different rhythm element appears in the verse that we'll look at next. Okay, we've had our intro rhythm now. A slight change up to the rhythm that you'll find in the verses. Bar one starts with the so we saw that exact thing in the intro, but then we get this rhythm happening. Subtle difference. Rhythm one. Rhythm two. Subtle difference. Best if you don't know your rhythms, how to count them. Uh, or don't know how to read rhythms off a music sheet like the tab sheet of my Patreon page. Um, just giving you those audio examples. For me, any way that is easiest for you to learn is the best way for you at that moment in time. Try and arm yourself with as much music knowledge as you can. Um, but some people just want to grab the instrument and start playing.
example of the verse and hopefully you heard through there that rhythm appearing that I've just been talking about. We're still playing over the E ninth fret for the B little fill 9, 11, 9 grab the tab sheet it's going to make this so much easier off the Patreon page 5, 5, 5 one of those chromatic runs again we saw the same kind of thing in the intro this time 2, 3, 4, 5 4, 5, 6, 7 are your frets look closely at my video for the strings tab sheet as i said is really going to help you with this one because it's so busy uh that will give you the idea that you need to learn the verse if you want something a bit more in depth detailed maybe watch my cover version you see me putting all this together or feel free to contact me maybe a zoom lesson a skype lesson if you really want to get involved with every single little note and fret in here. I think that gives you plenty of information to start working on it though. And I said, especially married with this tab sheet, not trying to push and sell it, but I think you really need it for this particular tune. Pause the video, work through your verse ideas, E, B, D to A. Uh, and when you're ready, let's have a look at the interlude. Starts again. And then into your second verse we go. So let's talk about what this riff requires. We've got the bass and the guitars also playing it together. Another guitar sort of doing a choppy reggae rhythm kind of strum as well. Um, there's that fill we saw right at the very start of the song, the first thing the bass plays, the 797. On your top four string, those notes B, C sharp, B, 11. That's on your third string, the A string. Find 11 easy by looking at where your double dots are. One before it. 11. Same start every time. Nine on that same string. Nine, but drop down a string to second string. Seven, and that is your first half of this interlude section. Pause the video now, work through it. Eleven. Nine. Down a string, nine. Seven on your second string. We start all that again. Eleven. Nine. This time stay on nine. And this little ending. Twice playing the nine, the F sharp. Use your dots to find these frets up the fretboard as well. Nine's a dot, seven a dot. Nine, nine, seven. Up to the nine on your fourth string. Finish at the seven, that's the E. Whole interlude. Second half I just did. Eleven. Nine. Nine again. Ending. Nine, nine, seven. Up to the C sharp nine on your fourth string. Back to the E to finish it. That is the interlude. We go back to a verse from here. The verse is essentially the same idea. Once again, though, just grab the tab sheet if you're looking for what the variations might be. Hopefully working through the verse already um, is giving you enough info to play along with the track. And it goes to another interlude. So the song at the moment is going intro, verse, interlude, verse, interlude. Pause this, get used to that. Maybe look up my cover version, look in the video description below or the little tab appearing above me now will take you to that. Uh, let's look at the bridge section next. So I'm going to call this next section a bridge. It might not traditionally work as a bridge in the song. Um, certainly comes in sort of the place where you do find a bridge after the second chorusy idea, which could be the interlude. 
We just get a whole heap of sustained notes. When the sun sets over. I won't sing too much, I'll get a copyright note sent to me, like I did with my Fernando video. So all these notes are, and that's the whole thing, uh, E, 7th fret of your A string, 3rd string, back to D, we've dealt with this already, 5th fret on your 3rd string, to the A, we know where that is, we've already been using it, 7th fret on your 2nd string, and then back to E. When that E, D, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, semi brief notes, 4 beats each, a me. And it does all that again, you've got this bridge. Pause this video, work on it. Look at your tab sheet, draw all over your tab sheet if you've got it. Make your own notes, it makes you easier to, uh, for you to learn and understand. When you're ready, let's have a look at what else comes next. So we've gone in the song, intro, verse, interlude, verse, interlude, bridge, interlude, and then a secondary bridge, where we get this uh, this riff. Of course, the Sky Wolf song is gonna have riffs. Three, four, one, two, three. I can. Uh, so. Is all that you need to learn for this part because they then just transfer that to different spots on the fretboard by changing chord that's played over and then later in the bridge changing octave. Here's what we need. We thump an E at the start of it. Chop it really short. Don't hit it and let it ring out. It's got to be well. All nines and seventy and nine on your second string goes down to the 7 on your 1st string, 9, 7, 9, 1st string 9, 7, and then back up to 2nd string 9. Break it into 2 halves, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then take that lick to the 7th fret of the 3rd string and do exactly the same finger and fret pattern. You chop it off again and then you repeat it now. You do it all over again, but this time no breaks. Vary the octave you're playing it in, as Greg does. So that is now on 7th fret. The B is on the 4th string at that particular spot. And to finish the uh, this bridge, right onto the open fourth string using that E as your root as opposed to that octave E as your root. O three five uh O three O five three O is your frets. Once again this tap sheet is gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier. Grab it off my Patreon page and help me out in 2021. 2020 completely smashed this music school. We're trying to rebuild it. And that's what my Patreon is all about. Uh, pause the video, get used to this particular bridge. Um, it does end on a six, four bar. Just be careful with that. There's six beats in that last particular bar. Just so you land it on beat one uh, when it switches back to four, four time in this outro. Uh, that's all we've got left to go, pause the video, learn this bridge. When you're ready, let's look at what you need to do in the outro. The outro, we've got a few parts going on here as they just build and build and build to the end of this song, this epic tune, possibly my favorite Skyhook song, actually, although the Saturday night is somewhere in Sydney, it's too hard almost to pick. We have this rhythm. 
Uh, based in semi quavers for those of you who know your rhythmic elements. If you don't, just look in the video description below or the tab appearing above me now. I'll take you in my lesson describing the rhythm elements of music. One E and uh, is how we count a semi quaver. One E and uh, two E and uh. So we're hitting on the one, skipping the E, and playing on and ah. Uh. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a four. We've got two fills that break up every second bar in this. Uh, the outro does start with a nice pentatonic run. Uh, set nine seven nine seven string one string two. And then this fill, nine 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 seven nine, is one of the fills that he does. He does that once, twice, three times, and then switches to this fill. Nine, uh, oh sorry, up here, nine. That's where it is. Uh, nine, seven, nine, the C sharp on your fourth string to the E. Nine, seven, nine, seven, nine. Check your tab, watch my fingers closely. So there your two fills. Verses. And listen closely to the song to put those in. You really just want to establish that groove as the absolute first and foremost thing. And then it goes from this uh, sort of heavy metal almost semi quaver pulse to your typical rock quavers pulse. Eight to the bar, all on E. The drums have properly kicked in now. And then we get this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Seven, four, seven, four. Very Greg Phil to do there, which leads you to which is the last riff of this outro and the whole song. O O on your E string, four, five, and seven being used on your third string, the C sharp, the D, and the E. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beats in the bar, and you just ride that riff to the end of the song. That will complete the full tune. As I said, there's a lot to learn. Definitely grab the tab off me, uh, and also help out the school in the process. If you've also learned something off this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music here on YouTube. Questions, comments, requests. As I said, if you want a Skype or Zoom lesson with me as well, feel free to request that as I can go into greater detail with you one on one. Good luck learning Carlton by Skyhooks on your bass guitar.